Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, as you see, we are doing non-fiction text structures. So I had a lot of ELA topics that I had to catch up on. So I'm so sorry if you want different topics. I have two signs, I believe. I believe it's my fourth ELA and I have like four math. So I'm trying to keep them even, but science topics, I don't have a lot in my head to make um, videos about. Uh, so let's get right into this. So first uh, text structure we have is description. But before I go into description, I don't want you guys getting confused with text features and text structures. Because I know they could sound similar to some of you guys. But just remember, features are like, I guess, features of something. Just to like features help you understand. And text structure is the way a text is organized. So yeah, now let's go into description. So description is, the, it describes a topic and its characteristics. And now some of the key wor keywords is such as, for example, also, in fact, another, for instance, and most important. Uh, I have a passage over here that is descriptive. And I'll tell you why. It says dolphins are very smart animals. They also love to play with each other. Dolphins live in water, but they are not fish. They are mammals. Dolphins have to go above the water to breathe through the blowhole on the top of their head. Dolphins like to live with other dolphins. They stay in groups called pods. Most dolphins live in salt water, but the river dolphins live in fresh water. Another fun fact is that a killer whale is a dolphin Dolphin as well. Killer whale, I love them. But my second favorite animal, first of course, is cats. But, continuing. Orcas are the largest dolphins of all. Dolphins talk to each other through clicks, whistles, and squeaks. Each dolphin has its own sound. Dolphins eat fish and squid. They do not chew their food. They just swallow it. Dolphins use only their teeth to catch prey, and dolphins live for about 40 years. Now, I know this is descriptive because this first section over here, it says they love to play with each other. They live in the water, but they are uh, not fish, but mammals. It's describing that they're not Fish, they're mammals, they like to play, they have, they breathe just like humans, so they have to go out the water. And the second section is saying how they, um, live, so they live with, uh, pods, which is the other dolphins. And then this last one is saying over here. Now let's see if we can find any keywords. So such as, for example, also in fact, another friend is most important. Um, let's see here. Um, I'm not sure if another is one of the, aha, uh -huh, another. So over here it says, another fun fact is that a killer whale is a dolphin as well. And over here, well, most of this all with dolphin, but we do have another, which is one keyword. And another can be used for some other text uh, feature, but you can also tell this is a descriptive passage. Next you have sequence. And this gives a went from a long time ago to the most recent event, like how the telegram was went to, to now how we have like smartphones and iPhones and everything. So some keywords that for that will be first, second, then next, on, slash, in, and then the date, finally, before, and after. This passage says soccer is a game that has been played for numerous years. In fact, many people live that it began believe that it began in England over 800 years ago. About 200 years ago, in the early 1800s, boys in England played the sport like soccer, but they called it football. However, each school made up their own rules. In 1863, a group of players met and wrote official rules for soccer. Soccer started spreading to other countries. In 1904, an international group called FI. FIFA or FIFA formed to make sure that every team around the world followed the same soccer rules. Today, soccer is one of the most popular sports in the world. Today is also a keyword just you know for secrets because talk about like the most recent. But over here it says, uh, so it says in the early 1800s. Okay, and then over here it says in 1863. So the word in is coming before a day, and the dates also you know mean that's the sequence of event. Um. Mm, yeah, so those are the keywords. Next, you have cause and effect. This is when the author tells something that happened and the after result. Some keywords is causes, effect, as a result of, if then, therefore, lead, and since. So, here's the passage. Violent video games has led to an increase in crime. Over the last decade, video game usage has increased 78%. 
Similarly, crime in our state has increased by 78%. Many popular video games showcase crimes as part of their venue. Gamers are rewarded for committing crimes on screen. This may lead to this may lead them to become sensitized to crime in real life. Finally, shoplifting video games has increased dramatically in teenagers. It's obvious if these video games did not exist, there would be nothing to steal. Increased criminal activity is in direct correlation with violent video usage. This is a cause and effect. So over here it says violent video games has led to an increase in crime. And then at the end it says uh it's obvious that these games don't exist, there'll be nothing to steal. And like it's cause and effect because it's giving cause, it's giving you the effect of what happened because of it. And um this one doesn't really have keywords that I see, but you could just tell because it's a cause over here in the first sentence, and the last two sentences is the effect of the cause. So yeah. It doesn't always have to have all the keywords or a keyword in there. Next, you have problem solution. This is when a problem is introduced and then solved. Some keywords is problem solution as a result of. There are more keywords for all of these, actually. But that's why I said some keywords, because these are not all. You can Google, you might find more. So here's the passage. Ben walked to school with his sister Amy. She looked in her bag and didn't see her lunch. She asked Ben to go back home. Ben said, don't worry, Mom. Put back... Don't worry, Mom put both of our lunches in my bag. Amy felt relieved and thanked Ben. So, how do you think this is a problem solution? The problem is, she looked in her bag, and Amy looked in her bag and didn't see her lunch. So, that's the problem. She didn't see her lunch in her bag. But then, the solution was, is Mom put both of the lunches in my bag. So, Ben had it. So, that's the solution. And, if you hear any background noises, I am really, really sorry for that. But, it might be faint because I'm wearing headphones. Uh, but, continuing... Yeah, so there's the problem over here, and there's the solution. Next, we have compare and contrast, which explains how something is different and the same. Some keywords, similar, different, same, but, yeah, although instead. The passage is dogs and cats. This is a blurry passage, so I'm going to read as much as I can. If you can't see, just please try to listen to me. It says, dogs and cats are both great pets to have. Although cats are much more independent than dogs, indoor dogs need to be walked, bathed, and taken outside frequently. Indoor cats usually always stay inside. Dogs also tend to be louder than cats. They bark and are more, um, vocal? I don't know what that word says, with their needs. Both cats and dogs are to be taken care of. They need to be given food and water daily. They also need to wait the wet to get their shots Visit the wet to get their shots and make sure they are healthy. Cats and dogs make wonderful companions. Companion people. I don't know what this is. Companion. I forgot the word for that. But, um, yeah. So, this was a passage, and it's comparing cats with the dogs. It's saying, although cats. And, so, I mean, you know, there's different key words. And, just so I all know, I'm on team cat. Uh, so... This is a picture of all the text structures, um, and you know, a short, quick definition. And I hope I I wanted to be this a short uh video, but I'm sorry it became eight minutes and thirty seconds. But I hope you guys enjoyed, learned something for this. Please like, subscribe, and share all of my videos. And you know, please watch more. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.